Again, human beings from the planet Earth. Well, I'm thoroughly disgusted, as you all know, but now I just have one question. When does it end? When? Okay, uh, I'm going to link you to this post, but uh, it seems Obama just keeps pushing. Uh, headline reads, the imperial president claims executive privilege over fast and furious documents. President Obama, who acts more like a Roman's Caesar than an elected official, has just claimed executive privilege over the re request by Representative Daryl Issa for the fast and furious document. Uh, Issa is expected to hold a vote today on holding Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress for withholding documents for the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Obama's claiming of executive privilege is just the latest in a long string of constitutional violations by the imperial president. Last Friday, Obama decided to unilaterally ignore our nation's immigration laws and permit illegals to stay in the U.S. without fear of deportation. He has no congressional or constitutional authority to do so. Earlier, Obama had initiated four recess appointments to key government posts while the Senate was still on session. The Constitution doesn't permit recess appointments unless the Senate is out of session. Obama has decided he can ignore Congress and ignore the U.S. Constitution when it impedes his plan to radically transform the United States into a European socialist state. He is doing so more frequently than ever now that his reign is hopefully coming to an end. Now this is not, don't get this twisted, you trolls and sheep. This is not an endorsement for Romney because it doesn't really matter which one of these two fuckbags you elect. And I'm not voting. I will not take part in this illegal, corrupt regime. But there's one thing you all need to understand. That as much as Obama has violated us, and all the other puppets have violated us, they've also, ten times more or more, violated the rights of the rest of the entire planet. And the rest of the planet has had about enough of our bullshit. Okay? And we're the one that's going to pay. Because if we don't do something about this bullshit, they will. And when they do, they hold us accountable. We're the ones that suffer. Our children die. Our water gets polluted. Our power gets taken away. Our resources used up and destroyed by other nations of the world who've had enough of the fucking bullshit here in America. Now, when I do the video on cam and you see the flag upside down, there's no need to fucking ask why. And I'm sorry to anybody that's offended, but until we come together and turn this country back upright, that flag will remain upside down. Now, I don't know where we begin. I don't have all the answers. I have an idea that the Occupy Wall Street movement, along with all of our sheriffs and constables, need to come together, along with anyone else who has enough balls to get off their ass, and we need to not storm Wall Street and not embark on our city parks and become a public fucking nuisance. We need to embark on Washington. And we need to demand the arrest of Barack Obama, any of his constituents, and we need to set interim plans to put this country back on its feet before this country is owned by another. Now, if you're on Twitter, please use the Op Stop the Bullshit tag for any relevant information that the sheep need to know. Endorse that tag. And we need to get behind our masked hacktivist because they're one half of the equation. There is a war going on, and it's not just in the battlefields of Af Afghanistan. And it's not just going to come to the homeland. It's going to be all over the Internet. It is all over the Internet. And it's one half of our defense information. So, anyway, that being said, support up, stop the bullshit on Twitter, everywhere. We need to come together. We need to stand up. 
and we need to take action. No more talking about it. No more sitting in the park beating our drums peacefully while we get pepper sprayed and fucking beaten. No. 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 We, we must do something. We must do something. Link to this post will be below, as well as a link to the Op Stop the Bullshit page on my website, which hasn't seen a lot of activity right now because I am just so busy with everything. But uh, do plan on, within the next week, a live show via Hacks Radio. I'll be accompanied by DDUH TV um, and Marcus Love. Rogers Charles will be there with some music for us. Uh, good Lord, we got to start somewhere. And half the battle is waking up the rest of the country so that they understand how critical this is. A few of us aren't going to do it. But if all of us don't, we're finished. Much love. Be safe. Good Lord.